So uh, in my TikTok, um, I explored two things that uh, I was concerned about this week, which had to do with the CEO of Kellogg saying that we should all have um, cereal for dinner. And the Wendy's was going to be in or rather doing the, the, the uh, rollout of um, varied costs depending on bu busyness and and uh, and you know be, be making cost variable. So what does that mean? Well, you know, if it's really really busy, they would pump up the prices to reflect the the the, the BC time. So uh, why I ha I took issue with the two was not necessarily to do with anything um, uh, that is um, whether it's moral or not. This is my opinion, but I think it has to do closer related to choice. Why are is choice when it comes to feeding ourselves so important? Well, it's important because A, uh, if someone, specifically if someone's rich, like the CEO, is saying, that we should have cereal because it's cost effective, I would say that the, the tone deafness there is um, related to the fact that he, is, he has a choice on when he gets to have cereal for dinner. Odds are that he does not. And when he does is it's because he, during the week, he has actually explored more nutritional foods. Poorer people or people that are, live paycheck to paycheck don't necessarily have that choice in terms of when they get to allocate the expensive come outings to, you know, to an expensive restaurant or even groceries itself like vegetables apples um being a lot of the apples bags are five six seven dollars a bag really truly who can afford that and to hear these news in terms of cost and saying that the the, the uh, as a society can tolerate this much uh uh, cost is it, it's it's it said there's a detachment there right are you is the ceo is wendy are they living the same reality we are um going back to the original philo or my original question um is this a is this a problem when it comes to choice and how do we, you know why is it problematic in terms of um, should we be, uh, could, can we take the choice back? Well, at this point in time, no. Uh, I think that there is, the, as the gap of economic, um, uh, as the gap between the rich and, and, and what we used to consider people that we were medium, medium you know, uh, middle class is, is broaching, there's a detachment there because, you know, there's people going out to eat every day and others who don't even, they, they, we can't, we, there's, there's no way, in, right? As it is, uh, right, bananas or cabbage is seven, eight, nine dollars, uh, depending on where you buy. Certainly, if you are t talking to me about the about a choice, is I went from going to one superstore uh, that I used to enjoy to go get my produce to certainly to now. Uh, one that would a lot of people would consider it's uh, right uh, cheaper. Um, I am not uh, one of those people that are uh, against, you know, looking at the dollar store and seeing whether they can help me with some of the of my uh, meals and and certainly 
getting tomato paste and and some of the the the, the, the spam and things like that you can make absolutely lovely meals out of that and they can actually be caloric effective so there's no shame in that that's wonderful but I, what i want to bring back is uh it's that that tone deafness is what's problematic because while they while they're say making these lovely suggestions it is not appropriate for a people that do have money to make those kinds of comments um and with wendy's it's not appropriate for you to take advantage of the fact that people by default will go to Wendy's in order to grab something because they are pressed for time. We live in a society that that we do not take our hour lunch. Uh, and because we do not, we are highly dependent on these stores, these cheap stores or, uh, that do have these meals that can help us continue with our day or fuel us because there's really no bad food. And this is one of the things that you can grab, buy, add to your into your uh, calorie counter, whatever app you have, and just and and just do it and move on with your day. The fact that they're actually bringing this as a advantage for these for for Wendy's is problematic um, and we really truly as a society uh, need to be boisterous about how we're not we that the closing of that those choices that we make because again the it is it isn't the it isn't the 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 Wendy's that's the problem if you if you're actually having a problem if you're actually not able to get the wendy's at high time what makes what makes wendy's think that they're that people are going to be able to afford like you know the, the expensive tomatoes and cucumbers and things like that it's it's just really detached um so um in conclusion uh i think that while cereal is not problematic at dinner i certainly have it sometimes it is problematic when it comes to someone rich suggesting that is an economic way to be able to eat dinner which is absolutely hideous <laughs> i hope Hi guys, I wanted to add a few things about uh, Wendy's and Kellogg's. Uh, the first one is being that uh, there is going to be apparently a Kellogg's boycott with regards to the cereal purchasing and all that stuff. Um, now, I, I have no opinion of what uh, what we all do with, uh, with that information. The one thing I wanted to add to this was the fact that while these foods are cheap cheap the only drawback that i have when if you were to to suggest to someone i even saw a commercial about about it uh take the take um the, oh chicken take the take a break from dinner or type of thing uh is the fact that uh cereals inherently when they're not actually um eaten like or added anything like uh, your proteins your fats and and, and fiber uh, they don't they don't do a good job of filling you up so at that point in time you're just really eating a, a calories and satiation will be a problem and that's actually the reason the number one reason i don't put it as a first choice i typically actually have it when it, i just feel i really crave it uh, as a treat the second thing i wanted to mention was that Wendy's apparently is now suggesting that the, the, the price surge is actually 
can be cheaper so let's not get all hanged up on 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 price gouging or whatever or pricing uh, due to time and it's actually they say not due to time it's actually due to busyness uh, so they're just a, a lot of a lot of these things are being backtracked is to I think to make things or the messaging more palatable um, so I, I inherently I think uh, because I did talk about the choice aspect of it uh, and the fact that the, everything is out of touch I want to re gently remind you that uh, while uh, cereal while these options are becoming less and less um, that less than less of an option there's still an option and we should be compassionate towards the people who choose not to not to partake in the boycotts and actually abide by these things because unfortunately you know the they they do serve a purpose as well so anyway uh, i hope you enjoy the video i will see you next week have a good one